Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Listen, hope everybody's having a good day. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hey, where my things go, man? We got to talk about this. We not finna sit here and let this go unannounced. As always, start it off right. So, apparently, the United Healthcare CEO, Brian Thompson's killer, the suspect has been detained. They have found a suspect for this heinous crime. I just want to talk a little bit. We're not going to stay here too much because everything is still unfolding. As in, as always, hit the goddamn like button. Uh, follow me, RJD, Rayshon Ology on YouTube. But we got to talk about this, man. This is, a, this is wild. First things first. First thing I want to talk about, what the heck is going on with everybody happy that this brother has passed away uh what are we doing y'all uh what are we doing nope not good not a good look <laughs> listen we have so many people right now that are unhappy i don't know if they're unhappy with life i don't know what's going on but we have so many people right now that are happy that this brother has passed away he had a kid he had, well, he had kids, he has a wife, he had family members. Come on, y'all. We got to have at least a little bit of a heart. Whether you like the healthcare system, whether you don't, whether you like United, whether you don't, it doesn't even matter. This is kind of crazy. Like, we got to do better. We got to do better, okay? That's still somebody's life. Like, life, people just throw this life thing around. Like, this thing isn't precious. Like, your life means nothing. No, this life thing is real serious. And this brother lost his life. And we're not going to sit here and gloss over that. So, for y'all happy that this brother has passed away. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. What are we doing? What are we doing right now? So we have to do better. I would just to say it plainly. I'll say it like that. We must uh, do better, people. But apparently the suspect is believed to have killed the United Healthcare CEO, Brian Thompson, has been identified as Luigi Mag Magoni? Magon. Mag Eon, Magion. I know I'm butchering his name. Oh, that's no. I apologize. Nope. He's gonna be mad at me. I know I'm butchering the name. 26 years old. Uh, Thompson, uh, Thompson was shot outside of a hotel in Manhattan, in New York City, on Wednesday, December 4th. Magon, Magion was taken into custody at McDonald's on Monday at uh, Pennsylvania. The NYPD is including its dive crews returned to Central Park Monday to search for more evidence. The gun found on the suspect may have been made by a 3D printer, authority says. Oh, no. If they want to get rid of the 3D printers, this will set a precedent for that. So make no mistake, they're going to use this stuff. Whatever's going on right here, they're going to use it. To, to to do stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if they got rid of 3D printers after this. I mean, one one could be said that they can or cannot get away with that, but I'm, t I'm telling you, when they want something to go, it, it's going to go, and ain't nothing nobody can do about it. Yeah, this should be blue, so my bad. But this is, uh, this is crazy, man. Apparently, they got his photo... Because when he was flirting with a chick, now people are saying conspiracy theory. Oh, it's not the same guy. The eyebrows are over here, and his this guy's eyebrows are like this. The nose is thicker. This guy's nose is thicker than the guy, the other guy. I don't know. So all I can say is, if this is true, because he's a suspect, they haven't even charged him yet. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if this this is the guy. This isn't the guy. We have no idea. But I was telling y'all before, this is crazy that a CEO got taken out like this. There are other CEOs of other companies and they're taking their pictures off of like <laughs> off of the lobby doors and stuff. Like it's crazy what's happening because of this. So this is not anything to snooze at. But I'm going to keep you guys up to date and abreast of what's going on. I'm going to do a whole deep dive into this probably tomorrow. I'm waiting for more stuff to come out. He did they did bring him to New York. He was fighting extra extradition. He didn't get bond. So there's a lot going on right now, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it most likely tomorrow. And 
Yeah, this is this is only going to get crazier once we find out, once things unfold. And he was an Ivy League student, which is crazy. I think he went to Penn State. So how does a guy that's a valedictorian, Ivy League student, go from that to allegedly stalking people and shooting people in the back and then going on a manhunt for three, for three, four days? How does that happen? How does that guy go from this to that? So there's a lot to this story. There's a lot going on. We will talk about it tomorrow. But for now, man, this is crazy. Peace, y'all. Enjoy. Be safe out there.